my first brain break of the day. How are yours going? Hope you continue on. How are your brain breaks going? It's day two. I've done two sets of brain breaks already today. So I hope you are all continuing on with your brain break challenge. Um, I thought the secondary kids are doing skill week this week. So they're trying to work on learning some new skills. So I thought maybe that's a good idea. So I started out yesterday with having you slow motion a skill. Did you do it? I'd love to know what skills you slow motion videoed. So your goal this week is to maybe learn a new skill or whatever skill you chose and you slow motion videoed, how can you improve that skill? Because we're spending a lot of time at home and it's a great time to learn something new or improve on what we are already working on. So uh, we have a leg tutorial video today from Charlotte of how to do a leg, um, I don't know, get your leg above your head. It's pretty impressive. It's a basic gymnastics move. I'm going to get some gym, some soccer um, videos into this as well, but I thought maybe catching and throwing is a great one. We always catch and throw with big balls, right? So why don't we try catching and throwing with a little ball? So we can start out catching with our dominant hand. We can bounce it. Maybe we go to our non-dominant hand, the hand that we don't use for things very often, and practice that. Just bouncing and touching. Remember, we know our underhand throw, right? So a great skill we can do is we can use a ball working on our hand-eye coordination. Find a wall and practice touching and throwing. Underhand with that dominant hand and then with that non-dominant hand. See how many times you can get it, then maybe you go back and forth. This is a great skill, catching and throwing. It's going to be useful for so many sports. Useful getting your brain working because that hand eye coordination is going. Once you get good at underhand throwing, maybe we go overhand throwing. So we did underhand throwing, now we can practice overhand throwing. So remember, overhand throwing, we've got the L, we face our target, and we go. And we step through. And maybe you work on your aim and accuracy. So maybe you take some paper plates or pieces of paper and make a little number on it and you try to hit over and over again at that target. See so if you can throw aim and accuracy at the same target over and over again. Maybe you find a friend and practice some overhand throwing sibling sitting over there and you see how many times you can overhand throw to each other. A very good catching hand. So catching and throwing, a great skill that you can work on this week for skill week. Again dribbling starting with dribbling a dominant hand, non-dominant hand, back and forth, underhand throwing, towards a wall or towards a friend, overhand throwing for aim and accuracy. Fantastic. Now I want you to do your brain break right now. Pick your exercise, do your brain break, and let me know how skill week goes. Let me know what skill you chose. If you'd like on Teams, you can just send me a little message and let me know what you chose. Otherwise, just keep working on those skills. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do a leg hold. If you're Unfamiliar with a leg hold, this is what it looks like. <laughs> so, um, what's easier in life to do, like if you know how to do a leg hold, is if you do gymnastics, um, you do it in lots of routines. But also, if you don't do gymnastics, it's just like easier because you're loosening your muscles. So, first you want to go stretch. So, I've already stretched, so just pause the video and go stretch. Okay, 
So now you're back. Um, it would be able be easier if you knew how to do the splits, but if you didn't, it might be a little harder, but it's totally fine. Okay, so first you just wanna do this to find your balance. And if you are like that, then hold on to something. Okay, then you'd wanna bring it up like this. If you want, you can hold right here or right here. So then, you know, just literally just straighten your leg. If you can't, like, like your arms like can't reach that far, and then just hold right here or something. Doesn't matter. And then just bring it to the side. So then, if you can do that, then you master step one. Make sure you can do it without the lens, and it's you don't have to hold on like that. Step two, um, just doing literally the same thing, bringing this higher and then bringing this higher. Train up, got it higher. It's that easy. So then, once you've done the third step, well, doing the third step, <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to like bring it up that high. So if you want, you can hold on to something, just do that. And then, like that. So then, boop, and straighten your leg. If it's like your big toe is at your head, then that's probably good. And then reach out. So then if you can go higher than that, try putting your other hand, if you can find your balance, other hand here and bring it higher. If you can't bring it that high, don't do it. Just keep doing these exercises until you get it. So that is it for leg hold. I hope you can do it. And I don't, you, you won't be able to do it in just today. So if you practice lots of times, then you'll be able to do it. So, bye. So today we're doing some soccer drills. And for drill number one, it's dribbling, working on your control and accuracy as you touch. Yeah, it's the drills.